Paul, not sure where to start really on that one. How would you assess that 3 3 draw against Blackpool? Yeah, chaotic, chaotic. Or, yeah. Um, we wanted obviously a lot more control of the game than that. We showed good spirit 3 2, and, and probably when they scored a third, we needed and we did to, to respond, and that's probably the best moment of the game for us. All of a sudden, we looked like the team we, we wanted to be because we went 2 0 up with, with two really good goals, but we're still. We were sloppy with the ball, um, and then we got punished for some errors at the back, which makes the game even, regardless if we think we should have gone in in front or not. Um, and then the third goal, from our point of view, obviously it's a poor goal to concede. It's fortunate the way it's rolled for them, of course it is. But after that, the response was good. Um, and I'm delighted we got the draw, but we did more than enough to win, but we can't be sitting here... Uh, claiming that because we were wasteful at the other end. I know there's aspects there that you'd not be particularly happy with, but the character of your side mm. to go right to the end to get the point. Yeah, we spoke good. about that a lot. It's difficult, that. But like I said, 3-2, you're looking at your leaders, your experienced boys, every player on the pitch. Um, and everyone showed real spirit, character to get on the ball, to keep pushing, to keep driving. Um, obviously, more space opened up when they got the two sendings off for the last 15 minutes. Um, and I thought we were going to go on and do it, I really did. Um, but the problem is, we uh, were wasteful. We didn't. Uh, we can't blame the referee for the bits he missed because we were wasteful. Got one penalty, could you have had two, maybe even three in that game? Uh, yes, there's, we had one we missed. There's certainly one where Callum Connolly makes a fantastic fantastic save with his arm, you know, when it's going in. However, um, the first one, I'd need to see it again from a different angle. Mac is claiming there's contact, I believe what he says. So from that aspect, yeah, I don't think there could have been complaints that were given. And after the game, there's a couple of red cards being shown. Did you get a view of it? Uh, West Fodring, I think, is now going to be missing for you, which is a, a bit Yeah, no, I've not seen, not seen anything. A couple of goals disallowed as well, just to add to the drama. I don't know if you had a chance to look back at those, but it seemed to be which a game is, where everything happened. Which was, I remember, and uh, Nels was onside. Listen, we can, can debate that. We could have, should have had more help, of course we should, but... We also did more than enough. We missed chances at the back post. You know, we weren't lively in the box, and and we were wasteful. We had some big moments. So, and and Chris Maxwell made some good saves for them. So yeah, I'm not I'm not going to stand here and blame the referee. Some positives though in terms of injuries. You got mm. a few players back this afternoon, which is good for you. Yeah, which is good. Obviously, we started with Aussie today. Uh, we had Anel come off the bench, which is great. Um, Bill's getting in his first start for a while, which is great. Um, Jack Robinson back involved, needs more game, needs more training because he's missed a hell of a lot. Um, but it's good to have them back. And before what everything happened, James Waggerty got his first Sheffield United goal, a nice moment for him. Yeah, good, making the box. We want his midfielders to get in the box, making the box, scoring his goal. Um, and like I said, the two, the, the two goals that, that we did score, to go two up, you, you're thinking it's... Yeah, you're thinking you're going, going to go on and win the game, but we'd got to that point without really playing it as best. You know, we were still a little bit wasteful with the ball. Moving on to Coventry next, is it a case of looking what you've got available, going again, trying to land on this one then? Yeah, but we've got to learn from this one. Like I said, everything we showed at 3 2, we need to show again. Um, we, were, we were a little bit slack, a little bit wasteful with the second balls, and, uh, and not as strong in the duels as we want to be. We need to be stronger if we go to Coventry, if we want to win there. So that, that's the message, we need to prepare for that, learn the lessons from this. We can't be out-competed, we can't be out-fought, um, or Coventry will do us.